Hi, this is Keith from ProTutor, and we're working on an algebra problem here uh, on the order of operations, and we've got a couple expressions to evaluate uh, using the order of operations. So to get started, we should actually just review what the order of operations are, and the way that I remember the order of operations is um, through a mnemonic, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or PEMDAS, um, which is sh even shorter than that, which stands for parentheses, exponents, uh, multiplication, division, left to right, and addition, subtraction, from left to right. And um, what PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, um, tells us is that we start off and evaluate all the parentheses first, next the exponents, third multiplication and division as they occur left to right, and then finally fourth addition and subtraction as they occur um, left to right. And so overall the order of operations flow downward starting with the parentheses. Um, and that's pretty straightforward. Um, and um, so what we'll do is we'll just actually illustrate with a couple examples and kind of see how it can get nuanced when um, you have um, a couple uh, sections of an expression that are being evaluated at once. Um, so let's just start off easy with 2 plus 3 times 4. And um, so PEMDAS tells us that since we have two operations, the operation which gets precedence is going to be the multiplication because it's a tier 3 operation compared with addition, which is a tier 4. So we do 2 plus 12, um, which is 14, which is straightforward enough. Um, another example, let's say we have um, 2 squared plus uh, 3 times 5. Okay. Um, here's where it gets a little bit more nuanced. Um, strictly speaking, um, you can, uh, you don't have to complete a whole step before you move on to uh, the next operation. So in this problem, we have an exponent, we have a multiplication, and we have an addition. And what the order of operations tells us is we have to do the exponents before we can do multiplication, before we can do addition. And so um, all that tells us is that our next step needs to have the 2 squared in it. And before, um, we could actually just write 3 times 5 here, and that would be perfectly fine. Um, but we don't actually have to. We can evaluate the 3 times 5, and that's 15. And the reason we can do that is that the exponents are actually already taken care of. So, um, and then we can go ahead and add 19. So the moral of the story in this example is um, that you don't actually have to wait for a step to conclude in order to, um, in order to actually uh, move on to the next operation. Um, and what we'll see is in, the, in these two problems that we have to evaluate, um, we'll see that occurring where we have um, multiple operations um, coming from different tiers within the PEMDAS uh, ordering um, that are occurring at the same time. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that as long as we um, just are careful and follow the order. Um, okay, so part A is 6 times the quantity 3 squared minus 1 plus 8 all over 3 times 2 minus 2. And um, so when we uh, start off with that, we notice that the, um, the division bar is really kind of like the central point there for the expression and um, kind of divides the um, the expression up into two pieces since each one is going to have its own set of parentheses um, and 
Um, so we just work the numerator and the denominator. We can actually work those um, simultaneously. And, um, and the first thing we do is start off with the parentheses, the innermost parentheses, with the highest order um, uh, operation. So that's going to be the exponents. And so that's just going to give us 6 times 9 minus 1 plus 8 all over. Uh, we have two operations here. The multiplication is going to take the precedence, 6 minus 2. And now the parentheses in the top, 9 minus 1 is 8. 6 times 8 plus 8. And 6 minus 2 is 4. Notice how we still have multiplication going on in the top, but we just subtracted in the bottom. And the reason is that we have parentheses that we haven't actually written in here, but we have parentheses up here that are saying to go ahead and evaluate um, the, the top and the bottom. So that's why we've got, we've got multiple operations going on at a time um, in different parts of the expressions. Um, so 6 times 8 is 48 plus 8 over 4. 48 plus 8 is 56 over 4. And that's 56 divided by 4 is 14. And that's our answer. So the answer to part A is going to be 14. Now, um, for part B, we're going to have a similar situation where we've actually got um, uh, 4 times 6 plus 2 plus 8 times the quantity 8 minus 3 all over 6 times the quantity 4 minus 2 minus 2 squared. The division bar separates these into two expressions and so they really can be done um, independently of the of each other and so that's how you get another you'll get another situation where you might be working on multiplication in the top but maybe you are working on subtraction in the bottom um, and that's totally fine. It's just that within a single expression um, that's defined within, um, with, you know, within a, a set of parentheses, you have to follow the order of operations um, to, it, to evaluate that part of the expression. So let's just start off with the parentheses here. 4 times the quantity 6 plus 2 is 8 plus 8 times 8 minus 3 is 5. And then 6 times the quantity 4 minus 2 is 2. Minus, now I can do just 2 squared is 4. Thirty two plus 40. 6 times 2 is 12 minus 4. 32 plus 40 is 72. 12 minus 4 is 8. And our final answer is 9. So pretty straightforward. The, um, the order of operations just takes a little bit of time with these um, bigger expressions where you've got multiple parts of it. Um, but after a while, you'll be doing it like, uh, like it's second nature. Um, so we hope we answered all your questions, and as always, if you have any more questions about it, please don't hesitate to ask. And uh, this has been Keith from ProTutor. Thanks for watching.